Yes. Okay. So back to Nanette Sosa coming to us from Atlanta. What are we hearing now? Because Andrea Snyderman is now currently charged with the murder of her husband. Not that she pulled the trigger, but that she was a party to the crime, that she counseled, advised, talked about, and encouraged Hemi Newman to do it. And there are so many phone calls between the two of them around pivotal points. Are prosecutors going to drop the murder charges, Nanette? That's a wait and see. And if they were to drop those murder charges, that means she's not going to spend time and life in prison. That's going to come down to basically she's going to be charged with mostly perjury charges and false statements. And that pretty much serves five to ten years um, per each count. And she has about 13 of those that she would still be that will still be left against her. But the three big ones, felony murder, malice murder, aggra aggravated assault, those go away. And if it goes away, she will uh, she'll be free. Well, you know, let, let's talk about that. Jill Polster is joining us. She is a former DeKalb County prosecutor. She knows the laws of Georgia uh, better than anybody. She also knows the parties involved. Here's what I want to ask you. First of all, there are seven counts of perjury. And in Georgia, that is five to ten years per count. You've got false statements, which is one to five years. She could serve multiple years in prison if convicted of these counts, right? Yes, Jean, that's right. Um, if the judge chose to stack those counts in a consecutive way, she's facing decades in prison. All right.